Well, let's get to work. Repop's been running conventions. Our very first New York Comic Con was in 2006. Uh, since then, we've added on nearly 30 around the world. This is our 13th New York Comic Con, and we're, we're expecting over 250,000 people this year. My name is Mike Armstrong. I'm the event director at Reed Pop, which means I oversee the wonder that is New York Comic Con. Well, I think when we first started, we certainly were less professional of an organization. Very famously, in 2006, with an attendance of about 12,000 people in just one hall in this building, the fire marshal shut us down on Saturday. We got in a whole lot of trouble. We had to deal with a whole lot of angry fans. But over the years, we've gotten a lot better at running conventions. I think when it comes to challenges and looking back to year one, we were just completely unprepared. We had no idea what we were getting into. It was the very first New York Comic Con and we got there and we didn't know what the fan reaction was going to be. It turns out fans were really responding to whatever we were doing so they came out in droves. The thing that's interesting year over year is that I've never run a show as big as the show that 2019 is going to be, so we've always got new challenges that are arising. New security things, uh, new contractors that we're working with, new fan fandoms that we need to make sure that we represent. Every year it's getting bigger and bigger, so we've got to make sure that we keep up with what the fans want. Oh, wait a minute. Hey. This is my third Comic-Con. I remember the San Diego one was my first one. It was just, for some reason, it was exhausting. All, you know, just keep doing press, 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 next thing, next thing, next thing. It's an honor to be here, you know? It's an honor to be on something that is Comic-Con worthy, you know? This is what Jamie Chung looks like in an industrial elevator. <laughs> Why is she going down? Why is she going down? Whoa! Yeah, and it's just the so glamour. glamorous. Glamorous. Let's check it out. Get a look, get a look. You know, I've done a lot of TV over my, you know, my career, but I've never been on a show that's like, like a Comic-Con type of show, where you actually get to really be with the fans, and, and, and uh, I just feel really lucky to be a part of it, you know? I think it's really important for fans of these kinds of fandoms to get to a place together so that they can experience each other, and it's really hard if you're a huge Spider-Man fan to have Spider-Man stuff all over your office at work. Um, because they might think that you're weird, but when you come here and everybody loves Spider-Man or everybody loves Doctor Who, you're with people who like the same stuff that you do and you can make new friends and have new experiences with people. The thing I hate most about going to events or going to shows is just people playing on their cell phone the entire time. This is about an experience, this is about walking the floor, this is about meeting new people and discovering new things, and that's why our shows are so important to people. <laughs> 